Hello and welcome. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. In this episode, we are going to outline how to install Battletech Extended Commander's Edition, or what we affectionately call BEX. Now, this is a quick install guide tutorial, so I am not going to sit here and wait for everything to install. I already have it installed. I'm going to outline the steps. So here we go. It will take a little while uh, because it takes time to download things and install it. Uh, but I'm going to outline the steps to hopefully make it easier for you to install Bex. Now, before we begin, why would you want to install this mod? First of all, it's an awesome mod. Uh, and second of all, it basically enables a clan invasion. So if you want to play with clan mechs, you know, witness and experience the thrill of them invading with their better technology and then taking them out and building your your mad cats and all that fun stuff. Um, this is the mod for you. Can Cannot recommend it more. So how do you install it? Because it can seem like a daunting process. And quite frankly, it took me a solid two hours to figure out and successfully do. All right. Step one. Go to Nexus Mods. Now, I use the Nexus Mods to download mods. I do trust them. Uh, so I recommend using Nexus Mods. I wouldn't try to install this on some random website. So create a free account on Nexus Mods. Um, one of the challenges that if you have a free account is that it will take time to download. And one of these downloads basically takes about 30 to 45 minutes because they cap the speed, assuming you have good internet speed. So when you're in Nexus Mods, you can type in Battletech Extended, uh, or you can even type in Bex. I think it'll show up. Let's uh, test that theory and see if that works. And it does not. So you want to type in Battletech Extended. And then you're going to see Battletech Extended 3025 Commander's Edition. So you can see I've already downloaded it. But if you look at this, if we look at the description here, um, excuse me, the description, not the files. Uh, this is an unofficial expansion to the Battletech game based on 3025 or 3057 lore that includes tons of additional mechs, vehicles, lore, distinct factions using lore, etc. Uh, so it's a pretty awesome mod. You can see some of the things here. Full Intersphere map changing over time with new factions starts in 3025 to 3057. Uh, there are mech quirks and all this fun stuff. So you can read that. Once you come to this page, come over to files and you can download the first one. Now, you can download these other ones and put them in the mods folder. That will work. But if you just want the base edition, download uh, the commander's edition. So manual download. And over here, I've already done it. I have BEX files. And here, I have this in a basically compressed format. Now, when this is in a compressed format, once you download it, you want to extract it. So you can right click on it and extract all. And then it's going to give you a bunch of files when it extracts it. Drag those files into your Battletech mods folder. So when you install Battletech, if you're using Steam like I am, you can go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Battletech, right click and create a folder called mods, lowercase m o d s. Uh, so I created this folder. Once I created that folder and I've extracted the Commander's Edition files, which are all these, copy them and paste them in this folder. So that is step one. Step one, download Commander's Edition, uh, extract it, and then drag and copy it over. Step two, uh, we're going to come back here. When you click Manual Download, it's going to tell you you need the Community Asset Bundle. So click on that. Now, this is what I did, and it seemed to work. So basically, the Community Asset Bundle has loads of stuff in there, and you need it to make sure the Battletech Extended mod works, because there are a lot of community assets, including mechs, skins, all that other stuff that need to be installed. And there's a lot into it. You're basically installing a full expansion. So come over to Files. Now, there are a couple options. You could do Community Asset Bundle and pre cache Cab Installer. My recommendation is install or down, download the pre-cab installer because that'll be the basically everything you need. This could take 45 minutes if you're not if you don't pay for premium download speed because it's about a little less than 10 gigs. So once you download this second one, uh, the big one, which is what I have over here, which is huge, extract it. Now when I extracted it. Uh, it takes a little while. Uh, this is what it will look like in its extracted format. And once you've extracted, you want to right click, 
run as administrator and set this up. Now, once you run this as administrator, you're going to need to create a target location to extract all the information and files. So, so, so step two, download the cab, um, the big cab, the pre pre cache cab uh, is step two. Step three, after you've done that, come back to your mods folder and create a folder where you're going to want to target so everything from the cab, the community asset bundle can be installed to. So in your mod folder, uh, what I did is I created cab patcher. I don't know why I called it that, but I basically just, you know, created a folder in here and then I ran the pre uh, cab pre cache installer. And I targeted this area. So we're going to hopefully not screw this up. You click next, blah, 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 let it install. I accept the terms. I don't want to reinstall it, but I basically targeted this folder that I created. And then I clicked next and completed it. So that will take a while. It's going to install a bunch of stuff in here. Once it's done installing stuff, you're going to have this community asset installer. All right, so step one, just to recap, because I know there's a lot going on. Step one here, we uh, downloaded the Commander's Edition bundle, we extracted it, and then we put it, we copied and pasted it into the mods. Step two, we downloaded the cab installer. It takes a while, uh, but once you do it, you extract it. Once you extract it, you're going to have this. This is the extracted version of it. You double click this to install, target a new folder. I called it cab patcher in my mods to install it. It's going to take time to install. Once it's installed, go to the new folder and the final step will be click community asset installer. Now, when you click this, it's going to pull up the community asset bundle. Now, make sure your install target is the same as, uh, excuse me, is the mods folder you have. So if you have multiple areas like I do, I have multiple drives, make sure it's the drive where the game is actually installed and you have your mods folder, and then you're gonna click update cab. Now, this could take a long time at first. Um, so be patient, let it install. It'll have a little blue icon. I'm not gonna click on it because I just clicked on it and I don't want it to reinstall everything. All right, final step. So this should be step five. When that's done, Go back to your mods folder, come down to mod tech. Now mod tech is installed from your, if I can come back here, is from your extended uh, commander's edition. So open up the mod tech folder, right click mod tech injector, your uh, ex executable option and click run as administrator. Once that is done running, it, it'll pop up a little black window, do some stuff, then you're set. So we're gonna close this and we're gonna open up Battletech. Now, when Battletech first opens, you will probably see a little box that says Mod Tech and it's gonna be loading a bunch of stuff into the game. And that's basically loading in your Battletech Extended Edition, which is exactly what you want. So we're going to load this up. So this is what you can see here. It's just making sure all the mod, stu mod tech stuff is loading in uh, like it should, which is great. It'll merge it, do all its fun stuff. And then once this is done, and it can take some time um, here, taking a little longer than I would like, uh, you'll get the uh, basically introduction uh, walkthrough. So we're going to give it a second, let it load, and boom, there we go. Battletech Extended Commander's Edition. We are good to go. We can start a campaign. We can start a career mode. We are starting in 3025. So right now, I have a career that I literally just loaded in, and I'm just clicking on this because when you start a new campaign, uh, what I've noticed is the load times uh, take a little long at the beginning I don't know if that's just for me. I am on a solid state drive. And when I played vanilla, it loaded a lot faster. But when I installed Biotech Extended Edition, it took a little longer. So uh, that could just be me. I'm not sure. Uh, but um, just 
be patient with it. It is well worth the wait. Now you can see up here in the top left, clan content is not in, uh, invasive to your game. You can start the game the late 3050s. So there are other options that you have. So we're going to come over here and we're going to go to navigation. Hello, right now we are sitting in 20... Um, 20 or 3025, I believe. That's the year for us. So you can see that uh, we have kind of a, a slightly different looking map, uh, but it's not, you know, overly different. There are going to be some interesting new different factions. So something to keep in mind chemicals, uh, industrial, mining, uh, Star League, from that standpoint. So we're starting at uh, 3025. I'm pretty sure. I just want to make sure I'm going to go to captain's quarters. This video is running a little longer. I can't remember where we have the date. That's not what I want. Um, why don't you give us the star date? Manage tasks, snow hall store. You can see there's a bunch of other cool stuff here. Hiring hall. I am not sure where we keep track of the date. But I'm pretty sure we're at 30, 30 or 25. I think we started at the beginning. At least for this one, I think we started at the beginning because I didn't do anything. Uh, so one other thing. Uh, we're going to quit this campaign. Uh, that you'll just kind of notice. So if you don't see Battletech Extended um, in the home page here, then uh, you could not, you might have disabled your mods. So just make sure this is enabled and saved and you should be good to go. Uh, so I kind of exited, <clears throat> I screwed it up. So it's now kind of reverted back to the old game. So if you do have any challenges on that, uh, what you can always do is open up your kind of file and go to your mods, click on mod tech. So like if you haven't enabled mods, just double click it or run as administrator. I've already given it administrative privileges, then reopen it. So sometimes what will happen is, is that if you've disabled mods, they're not going to load in right. So you have to make sure they're enabled. Um, I've always had them enabled, but I know uh, a few people in the past had trouble with that, um, I think with Rogue Tech. So that will conclude the video. This is much longer. I tried to make this as quick as possible, uh, but recommend you check out Bex. It's a phenomenal mod uh, developed by some phenomenal individuals. And that will conclude the video. I am actively trying to grow my YouTube channel. So if you like what you see and you find this content helpful, please consider subscribing and dropping this video a thumbs up and hope to see you in future videos. We're just going to let this load in one more time, make sure it works. And I'll be, there we go, Battletech Extended Commander's Edition. So we're all set um, and we can, you know, kick off a new campaign, um, you know, do other things. If we do new here, you can see that we have... Uh, a bunch of different options um, to start. So we can tinker around with this, we can set the default settings, etc., create our character, all that fun stuff. So hopefully you enjoy, and hopefully we see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.